Hi guys, my name is Gothfish1 and welcome to today's Graveyard Keeper tutorial about everything vineyard related. Um, I'm going to be going very in depth, so if there's only a specific thing you're wondering about, then check out the timestamps in the description below. Before getting started, I just want to remind you you can subscribe if you want or check me out on Twitch. And with that all being said, let's head into the tutorial. So the first thing we actually want to do is gain access to the vineyard in itself, and there are two methods to do so. I'm going to recommend the second one, but I thought I'd explain both of them anyway so you can choose yourself. Just north of your house you will find a large tree blockage that you can clear. That will take you two flitches, two complex iron parts and ten wooden wedges as you can see there. If you decide to do this, there will be some materials ready so you can start growing straight away but you won't have the technologies unlocked to have um, the workbench and build your own stuff. So therefore, I would recommend doing this instead. The second way to gain access to the vineyard is by completing the first two tasks on the Inquisitor's plotline. He can be found up on Witch Hill every day of Wrath, which is the symbol I'm showing there. And the very first time you go, you will get this little cutscene I'm playing here. And the very first task will be to watch the first witch burning and then come back a week later for the second. After you've completed this, you'll get 10 happiness from him, and also the new task, which is a little bit more complicated. He'll ask you for 20 firewood and 10 flyers, and I thought I would actually explain how to do this a bit more in depth because it can be a bit tricky. So the first part of firewood is relatively simple, you simply need to chop up some wood billets at the chopping spot. Uh, you get wood billets by sawing them in your sawhorse from logs. So yeah, that's pretty easy, let's go on to the flyers. To make flyers, you're going to have to have clean paper and pen and ink, so let's start off with the paper. You can either use bat wings or human skin to start off with, I'm just using bat wings because they're easier. Then you'll head into the church workbench and make pigskin paper first, well, that was tricky to say. And then you're going to further refine that pigskin paper into clean paper. And then you'll have one half of the flyers all ready, as you can see. The easiest way to get a hold of pen and ink is just to simply buy it from the astrologer on the day of sloth as you can see there. He will be standing by the lighthouse and you can buy it from him pretty easily. Or you can make it yourself. So first you're going to need to make black paint in your alchemy workbench. I usually use ash and oil because they're both relatively easy to get a hold of. Once you have those ready, head back down to your church workbench. And here you can make ink. All you need is black paint, conical flask, which you make in your furnace too, and water. And with that ink, you can make pen and ink with an added feather. So let me show you how you find feathers. If you head east of the dead horse, you'll find this little chicken farm. And when you click on that little chicken basket or egg basket, you can buy feathers from there. They're relatively cheap. I don't know if there's another way to get a hold of them, but yeah, that's how you get feathers. Okay, awesome, so now you've got access to the vineyard, let's talk about some technologies to unlock to get this all started. So under the farming and nature technology tree, you'll see grape farming, which will give you access to growing both hops and grapes, and then unlock zombie vineyard as well if you have zombie technologies unlocked. This will come in handy in a little bit. Also under anatomy and alchemy, you can also unlock zombie logistics. This is assuming that you can do zombie stuff right now. If not, that's completely fine. You'll just have to grow things manually until you've got those unlocked. Here you can build a trunk, vine trolls, and then if you've got zombie technologies, the zombie vineyards will uh, make the zombies grow these for you automatically. And the porter station will bring your hops and grapes down to the basement for brewing automatically as well. So let's go buy some seeds now. Uh, you can get grape seeds from the merchant on the day of gluttony, which is the symbol I'm showing here. He is just south of the dead horse, and he'll only be there once a week, so it's important to pay attention to that. When you click on trade, you should be able to find grape seeds of all qualities, bronze, silver, and gold. If not, then you just need to continue trading with him to unlock the other tiers. But yes, that's how you get grape seeds. Now over to the hop seeds for beer. You will find the miller just north of the wheat farm, or kind of in the wheat farm, and he's the one who will be able to sell them to you. Um, if I remember correctly, you actually can't buy the seeds straight away, so you, I think you need to trade some firewood with him first. But then, eventually you should be able to buy hop seeds of all the different qualities, and they're the ones you use to grow hops for beer. Cool. So, onto the actual farming or planting, it's pretty much the exact same as the kitchen garden where you put down fertilizer and put down your seeds. If you're curious about how fertilizer works, check out my farming video because I go very in depth there. Uh, and if you want to save time on fertilizer, then you should set up a zombie vineyard. 
because they only take fertilizer once and then they'll continue going forever. So yeah, let's look at how we make that. They're pretty simple. It only takes five wooden planks, three simple iron parts and 10 nails. So they're not resource heavy at all. They're very easy to make as long as you've already got the zombie technologies unlocked. Once you've got that, you can choose yourself if you want to use it for grapes or hops, but you just grab your little zombie guy and then plop him straight into place. It's pretty simple. Once you've got that ready, you can upgrade your zombie vineyard, which you should, and to do that, you'll just put in 12 quality fertilizer one and then 12 quality fertilizer two, and then the zombie will make gold star either hops or grapes, depending on what you asked it to do. So let me go and give you guys a little tip, which is how to make your zombies com like eternally or infinitely make grapes or hops because every time they grow, they are gonna get enough seeds to continuously plant it themselves. So to do so, let me just quickly remove what I've got in there, then I'll show you one more time. So as you can see what I'm doing now is just removing the request, adding a new one opening it up again, and then you can see there's an infinity sign. So there are two arrows, less or more than the infinity sign. And now with the infinity sign, it's gonna eternally be making grapes for us. So there you go, that's how the zombie vineyards work. Onto the porter station. So what this does is we have a little zombie guy who's gonna be moving all of our grapes and hops down to the basement for us for brewing. Let's head down to the basin and see how that works. So down in the basement is where you brew your beer and make your wine. And to do so, you are gonna to need to unlock some technologies first. So let's check out our farming and nature technology tree. And in there, you should be able to find the brewing technology for beer and the wine making technology for wine. And then of course, if you have zombies, you can also add zombie brewery and zombie winery. This should unlock everything you need in your workbench here to make it. So for beer, you're gonna to want to make the brewing stand, and for wine, you need the wine making barrel, and you also need the vine press. Let's have a look at how you make beer first. So we're gonna make our way over to the brewing stand, and the ingredients we need are hops, water, and wheat. And this is actually an improvable product based on the quality of your hops. So if you have gold style, make gold style beer, and you can also see like the probabilities of that. But this is exactly one to one. And then it's pretty similar with wine. So first you actually need to press a pail of grape juice. This is also improvable. Pail, sorry. Um, let's just make some silver wine just to show you guys a little example here. So here I just got a silver quality pail of grape juice. I'm gonna bring it over down to the wine making barrel. Um, this is also where you can like see um, the probability of different qualities. So now that that's fermenting, I'll show you guys how to do the zombie breweries. So here the ingredients are the exact same. Something that's a bit annoying is that wheat bringing and water bringing isn't like a porter station that's available. So you do have to bring that manually. But if you just hold up on that, then the zombie can make a whole bunch of beer. Wine on the other hand is completely automated because uh, they only need the grapes, which the porter zombie brings. So there you go, I've got infinite gold quality wine going there. So beer and wine have a couple of different uses. They're both used in different qualities for tasks and different plot lines, or you can make money through them, which is what I mostly use them for. Um, depending on the quality of it actually changes who you can sell it to. So for Haradric, he will only take in bronze and silver quality beer and wine, which I'm gonna go sell it to him now. Um, and then if you have gold quality wine, then you have to sell it to the merchant. As far as I know, there isn't a particular use for gold quality beer, but I highly recommend um, using it when you go into the mines because it both restores health and energy like really well. So yeah, as you can see here, we're trading some of our silver beer, but also you can see we don't have the option to trade in our gold quality wine. Cool. Thank you guys for checking out this video and watching to the end. If there are any other things in Graveyard Keep you're curious about, please leave a comment below and I might make a tutorial on that. If not, like if this helped you and check me out on Twitch or else. Bye bye!